All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154 and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last episode, Max became commander in chief, chief, commander in chief of these United States and we assassinated, well, we s took care of Abraham Lincoln. This episode is titled Reality 2.0. It's not the title I use, it's just the title of the episode. So let's see. With the internet crisis looming and a viral video game holding its players hostage, Sam and Max will need to slip into the new into a new reality to set things right. But can the freelance police crack this viral case in the time to avoid worldwide system failure? Okay, let's see what's going on. Action! God, dial up. Again, like I said, love this intro music. Netflix, please revive this series. I have to trust Netflix because the other, well, HBO Max could do it. President, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. Episode 5, Reality 2.0. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal Umo. numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's, that's the guys from Air Force oh God, one, there's a robot. Tell them get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. The next episode is just going to be him. a computer a crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? That Bigger than work. that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. All right. Don't. Okay, so, oh yeah, I forgot to say, if you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Talk about Sam and Max, get a conversation going. I want this show back on TV, <laughs> but I don't have the clout to do it. Let's check the closet to see what we have. Oh, we kept the head. Hey, Leonard. Hungry, Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. Uh, let's check on the. Even president. if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? No. You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Right. Good luck, Leonard. Don't die. Check. Jimmy's place. Lynch, not home. It's probably somewhere nearby. Is this the Constitution? Max, why did you put the Bill of Rights why? on our dartboard? House cleaning. Guess what? We no longer have the right to peaceably assemble. Great. And next time you're incarcerated, you'll have the choice of cruel or unusual punishment. This I'm is why Max should never voted president. for the other guy. All right. Let's look out the window because there are giant robots hey, walking around. there's a parade coming. I love a parade. Oh, sorry. Looks like it's just another angry mob protesting your barbaric school lunch program. Again? They just don't recognize genius. What's his school lunch program? All right, Max, let's go. How bad is it? Right, let's check on our friends first. Let's see. Beta testing. 
No, that, may, that fits with the... Cancel due to lack of interest. Okay. See how Sybil's doing. Hey, Sybil. Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Uh, Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If hypnotize? there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Am I gonna sick Max on? I am. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Well, I guess we're gonna have to come back to Civil. All right, Bosco, there's no way you're in this. President Mac. Why does he have a cannon? Jimmy? Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What the hell? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. Okay. What Where do you, you got stock? in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. How much? How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst what? arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. That is true. What have you been, what up, have you been to? up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad That's idea true. to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist views. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. Okay. See, See you later, later Jimmy. Jimmy. Maybe if you can find me. Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met. Friend oh, he's supposed to be an L. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's I an understand. innate fight or flight response. I am El Bosco Drill the Unhinged, mighty half elf ranger. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've Thorazine. become an elf? Half elf? And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies. I've had missiles aimed at me. That's and true. now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. That is Point true. Being, well, it's not safe for me here anymore. I got to take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. I was almost certain that he did it for this girl in the background. Yeah, my m mouse cursor is right there. I thought he did it for her. What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Half elf. It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc or a troll. But we got enough trolls. I didn't think they... it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Yeah. Half elf, troll. Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. I'm surprised you. Well, it's not a real surprise. 
that he could use a computer because he made a satellite that stopped the missile. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't you worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. You want to buy, buy something? I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would the squire oh, purchase? What, what you have got? you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? It's I've actually got globally the market, illegal. Guys, if an arms dealer's gonna open up shop in my store, I've gotta up the ante. How much? All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. All right. Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cash? Nay. That's not. On I'm second thought, leave it nothing there. for us now. As thy wish. But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wastelands with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. <sighs> How's, business? How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Really? Free enterprise, Jack! Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. Oh, he is the president. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Shire. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! What the hell? Ooh. Oh! Little bastard. Ooh. Right, let's get Jimmy. Good job, Max. I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Sure I was enough. just trying to steal the cannon. Hey, Bosco, we got ready for competition. Hey, Bosco. Good day, squires. Bye. See you later, Bosco. Don't be grateful. For the Shire. This is a city, not a Shire. But honestly, I was just trying to steal the cannon. We may have given her a concussion. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Yeah, we Hope did. You're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. All right. What's Reality 2.0? Ah, oh, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. All right. 
Who are you working for? I never for? pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that oh. space is being used by the cops. The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars. We're all the police this neighborhood needs. And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for, well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it. These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. What's a beta tester? Someone who tests the video games. I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? But were you really licensed? That's what I need to know. Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not um, so bad. As long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you well, guys ever actually played one? They make constantly. players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? Nope. It's Friday. You've been, You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's it happens. Addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't what want this that? job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. Well, that's the thing with all video games. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, and that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Nope, never. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only Wait. way to get into Reality 2.0. They made you and pay to be a beta tester? Salary. They're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. All right, we gotta see go around, see Sybil. these cops. Look for me in the unemployment line. Well, you paid for a week, so that's your fault. Moderation, children, moderation. Freelance police. Oh, it just opened right up. Item on the agenda. Oh, they're actually computers. If you'd like to talk about the big sale and raffle, press one now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press two now. I hunger! The refreshments will be served. Funny after thing the is, meeting. current computers replace all of them. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, Steve Wozniak? And welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P A N D E M I K. Inductee 48,726. Five. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! fall. There is no escape! If Why is like he so high strong? Experience reality 2.0 for yourself. Press or say yes now. What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? It's all the internet controls everything. That's true. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games, a world of commerce, a world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what That's you true. know, it's who you know. 
The internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks... That'd be terrifying if the internet machine, became the sent here. The internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate reality 2.0. I just have to blow up the world. Fine, it knows but too where much. does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone, all will fall. There is no escape. Of course. Dude, take this a chill pill. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave, well, everyone. Great. Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. All right. Where is this Where internet? Where can we find this internet? You will fail. The internet is everywhere and nowhere. Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder and scurvy. That is too that bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. Oh. The internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as president of the United States, that's my job. Yeah. We only wish to help. <laughs> We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from a stat regurgitator. Oh! 99.6%. Right. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Okay. Enjoy your new signal from a stat regurgitator chip and experience all that Reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary wide-fit goggles designed for playing while bicycling or enjoying full contact sports. Safety first. Okay. What, what do we, we do? need to do with this chip? Just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the internet for an exploration of reality 2.0. All right, Bob. Goodbye. You cannot escape. You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. Tippy Kurt. Bye. All right. I'm not sure whether to lie on this thing or drive it out of here. They're broken. Oh, wait. Chip. VR goggles. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. It Cheer is up fun. and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've That'll been work. taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. Hey, neat. Oh, I cool. I had a dream like this once. You I've saw had a me a defective like walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0. What the hell is that? The perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. Okay. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. 
Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. You just not listen to us. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nuts. Sybil? Sybil? You're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Oh, it's not real Sybil. Testing? Oh. Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. Okay. What's the next There's closet? a conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there. Open the door, Sam. I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. Oh, right gun. All right. Oh, there's no doors. Huh. Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. <laughs> Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From yes. Canada? You got it, hon. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? Yes. If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. You know what? You know what? I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The internet designed this reality, you know. It picks some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not okay. sure it worked. Especially since we may have killed her. Do you ever leave this spot? Oh, heavens no. Who'd be here to guard the mailbox? We could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. All right, we'll be well, back. I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Why? Look, Max, some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. 10 out of 10 survey subjects agree. No known experience can match the raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. All right. There's a jack in the box. Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Whoa! Pop ups! Can't okay. we get away from ads anywhere? We believe no. that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. God swallow. I heard that. Control room. Oh. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. I see. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? I would have guessed master of jollity. You will fall! Ah. Uh, what's your story, Datahead? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. 
If you're not satisfied with your height, please contact the customer service department. I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the customer service department is currently closed. Please try again later. Okay. So, how you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User width control. User what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only bleeps? Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns off the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Pop-ups have been disabled for your convenience. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, that's good too, I guess. I gotta get that jack-in-the-box. Hmm, near as I can tell, the only purpose of this thing is to generate those annoying pop-up ads. Okay. What the fuck? Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the internet wizard. Max flips I'm quickly. an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. I still 100% believe that Hugh Bliss is the main villain. What, are what you doing exactly here? is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. Alright. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's what? not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, lead you're base? giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available where prohibited. All right. Oh, supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not. <laughs> but typing is fun and a proven stress reliever. I think well, I'm about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. I guess. Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... nothing. Now, see, I would have phrased that as, no, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness. Blackness all around. It's terrible. Ooh. Wow, well, needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Come again. I'm all out of questions. But I'm not out of answers! Who cares? Save point. Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait! Alright. Okay. He is actually a half elf. What is it? Mead, condiments. Poison mead. Between Bosco's coffee and poison mead, 
I take my chances with the mead. Hey, Bosco. Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question. Go ahead. What? Ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. That's not what a half elf looks Guys, like. It's me, Bosco. I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution for the Shire. How's life? So on how's me? Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know, in Reality 2.0? Shelf space is infinite. Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. It's not. We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I, I don't know what to say. And Just yet, I do out. have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay, the Wooden Longsword of Intense uh, Longness. <laughs> what makes your money so safe on the internet? I it's got it not all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital. Safer that way. It's not. Does this bank have a name? Well, uh, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. How do we pay you? If we wanted to pay real life money to your bank account, how would we do it? Oh, it's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. <laughs> yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, what? but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No. In fact, I had it wiped from my memory so they can't even torture it out of me. Wait, then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. Okay. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please. Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now, where's my free laptop? All right. See you later, Bosco. For the Shire. Let's go back to reality. I'm told you did a little needlework on one of our neighbors. Why? What have you heard? You tattooed something onto an unnamed portion of Bosco's anatomy. Oh, that! Sure! It was really tiny. Too what much was information! It? The tattoo was really tiny, Dimwit. Near microscopic. Like your brain. What was the tattoo? What exactly was it that you tattooed onto Bosco? We promise we'll only use the knowledge for good, never for evil. Oh, jeez, I don't remember. It was weeks ago. Why don't you just go look for yourselves? Uh, I'd prefer not to look at Bosco's unspecified anatomical areas if I can help it. It's on the back of his neck, you dopes. Oh. What did you think? Well... See you around, Sybil. All right, we gotta get back to Bosco. Well, 
I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no! Get away from me! Hand it over, mini jerkbag! No way! I stole this coin fair and square! Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! Aha! Uh -huh. Cyber Ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi ant experience. Girl, okay. You have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. Jimmy, don't make me come in there. I'd like to see you try, fat feet. Oh, I know. How big to do bone. It. Seriously, his metatarsals are massive. Well, then use your ginormous feet to beat it. I get it. I know what I gotta do. Uh, let's try using items. Computer box. Gravity. You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity! Failing! Must be up! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally. Let's get those coins. I... I... I feel... Pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! I know how to turn these things off. I gotta use my computer bug. Look, Max. It's a me, Sam. Don't get me. Don't get Nintendo on my case. Yeah. Sell out. Gold coins. Oh, no, not that. Uh, let's turn off the side so I can get Jimmy. Are you feeling okay, Master of Gravity? I feel. I'm not okay. I Uh, let's get high control out of the way. Say hello to my little friend. Hello! I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try a <coughs> character height malfunction. OMG, Sam! Look how cute I've become! You've never been more marketable in your life, little buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! I did a thrilling life! Someone get that guy a lozenge. He doesn't have a mouth. God, we're fast. Let's go. We got a rat to beat up. Oh, Jimmy, my boy. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, guys. Wait a second. How'd you, uh... I thought You're about to get I told you to beat it. Well, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the coin, Jimmy. See you around. Jimmy's good people. Good people. All right, let's go back and uh, I guess the last computer boss. Let's get the computer bug back. Thank you for your patience. I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. 
Oh, Look, we're very Sam, skinny. We're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Yikes, that dude's bugging. Well, they have been comic books and everything else. Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? Oh, we're going under the door. I found a gold coin. Wow, lose weight and earn money? Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension and I've never felt better. All right. Day one, enjoying it so far. Oh, if you wind up with extra gold coins, bring them back here. I need them more than you do. Looks like in some ways, Reality 2.0 is the same as regular reality. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Okay. Uh, five gold coins. We'll take that long sword, if you please. Five gold coins. Very good, verily. Here then is your wooden long sword of intense uh, longness. Okay. Yep, that's a wooden long sword, all right. I kept thinking it would come with a free man-eating python or something. Take care. The enemy draws nigh. He may be closer than you think. Maybe what? The Shire. Spawn point? What does what? that... Ew! Oh! It's kind of cute, actually. It must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die! I need the experience. I'm so surprised he's the president. Entering combat. Blue slime. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Okay, long sword. Attack successful. Blue slime is defeated. That's one less gelatinous monster to spread mayhem across the virtual countryside. Look at its pathetic, slimy remains. Almost makes me feel sorry for the little snot ball. Ooh, blue slime slime! Get it, Sam! It's worth a fortune on a spell component's black market! Okay. Bosco? Hey, Bosco. This longsword you sold us doesn't work. It does work. Trust it me. Trust it me. Uh, nay, it doesn't. Sam, show him. Oh, did we knock out Bosco? Oops, our mistake. It does work. Well, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Boy, do we have egg on our face. <laughs> did we just kill Bosco? Bosco? Welcome to Bosco's E Convenience. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked a virtual screw loose. Would thou like to buy oh. or sell? I think Did we, we hit him in real life? this reality, little buddy. This is clearly an artificial intelligence designed to mimic Bosco while he's offline. It dost work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. The similarity is uncanny. Uh, back to reality. Took me a while. Hey, Bosco. Glad to see you've kicked the second reality habit. Yeah, you guys were right. I was hypnotized. I just didn't know it because I was hypnotized. Well, These I guess happen. you'll never have anything to do with a nasty old internet ever again. Am I right? You got that right. Except my bank account, of course. Gotta keep that off the internet where it's safe. It's not safe. Look behind you. It's a three-headed internet. What? Where? <laughs> All right. Binoculars. I can see that. Dag nabbit. Hey, Bosco. Good day. 
Look behind Look you. Look behind you. It's Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. What? Where? <laughs> this laugh is creepy. <gasps> Bosco. Bosco. Really? Bosco? What? What is it? Oh, nothing. La la la. Hmm. That's his password, Bosco? <sighs> Do all that. Searching. Right, let's get on the goggles. Charming! Congratulations! You've customized your vehicle avatar! Drive safely! Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so I was looking at that back vehicle because of the three colors it has. I thought that would Where fit. Where are we going, Sam? UncleLavadero.com Ooh, fun! Did we fix our actual car? And are we actually driving? Wow! What's this? I think it's a security barrier. Checks out verified. Access approved. Oh, cool. That worked? Well, here we are. Okay. Banco Lavadero. Located conveniently outside the jurisdiction of any significant regulatory body. Say, wait a minute. This is no ordinary bank. Look at all the arrows. This is a devilishly complicated money laundering operation. Money launderers. Ugh, I hate those guys. They always mix in the 10 euro notes and stain everything pink. National Treasury? Toy Mafia? I knew the mob and the government were in cahoots. Cahoots? Yeah. Is that in Canada? Washington. Okay. I got it. Grandma Bosco? Is that who I think it is? Former Postmaster General in- You're thinking of- Right, I- Gambling? Judging by what I see here, not much. Nope, never much. I got it all. Look now, but I think we just gave Bosco a billion dollars. I ought to buy a few cans of reconstituted luncheon meat. I read somewhere that Bosco's a stack of a billion billion one dollar bills would be 60 miles high. Yikes! It's a good thing I don't read or I'd be perpetually freaked out by stuff like that. Come on, little buddy. We've had our fun. Let's blow this cabbage patch. We gave Bosco his money. Who do we steal the money from, though? Besides everyone? Let's go to Bosco's house. Bosco's place. Hey, Bosco. What's that? Yes. It uh, It's just. All right. Out of reality. We gave you hey, one Bosco. billion. You find our little gift in your bank account? I don't know how you guys did it, but the billion dollars is all there. Hey, man, I don't ask questions. You should. So, how'd you do it? Never you mind, Bosco. Just hit us with your highest grade biological weapon, please. All right. What? Oh. Here you go. We just paid a billion dollars for your snot rag? That's a deadly virulent disease. I feel a real bad cold coming on. Yeah, but you gotta admit, that is some expensive mucus. Oh, but it works. Trust me. Trust me. Whatever. We just paid a billion dollars for that. Right, I think I know how to get that plus two sword. Let's 
turn gravity off again. Use caution. Oh, cool. Injury sustained in reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. How do we jump up here? It's stuck. Wait. I got it. Aha. Cool. The unicorn I have a blade. plus two sword. You're just compensating for something. You're a fine one to talk. All right, let's go back down. Now we can take out Miss Frying Pan. Wait, we can take out Antibiotic. Oh wait. Well, I don't make. On God. Entering combat. Antibiotic. Your dexterity. Three. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Uh, defend with an item. Jack in the box. Attack blocked. You know what you're doing this time? We're about to yeah, find I do. out. Sam attacks. Again, with healing this time. Don't distract me, butthead. That's the spirit, Sam. Attack with my plus two sword. Attack successful. Antibiotic takes 3,930 damage. Antibiotic is defeated. No! Oh. I think we've just uninstalled ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it. What a jet. Right. Now we send the computer virus. Happy trails, a little software disease. Ah, I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger. Danger. Software corruption spreading. Damage control alert. Visual rendering systems infected. Data instability. Things happen fast in reality 2.0. What's happening, Sam? It's our disease. Looks like it's taking out the graphics first. I'm okay. disappointed in you, Sam. I try to do something nice. Nice? All I wanted was for everyone to be happy. But no. You want free will. Yeah, yes. we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And everybody else who's still logged on. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm too young and pretty to die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics. Oh, he was right. Everything went black. I'm not sure, little buddy, but I think they might be words. What? I can't hear you. Read the subtitles. Didn't I outlaw How reading? I oh, oh there we go. The sounds back. Now shut up and read. <laughs> you are standing on the city street that continues to the east. A small shop labeled Syllabus lies to the northwest, just in front of a pulsating control room. Parked near the unremarked Unremarkable office building is a old Del Soto, De Soto, apparently painted by someone with the nerve, with severe color blindness. Fuck you, lady. Suddenly, a massive reality quake sends the De Soto, De Soto, hurling into the control room, destroying both. Possibly as a result, the unremarkable office building becomes a remarkable two-story tall Pamela Anderson, who mumbles something unintelligible before surfing away on a stray pop-up ad. In the distance, an aerial squadron of pot Billy pigs begins performing precision loop-de-loops. The world appears to be ending. The internet is here. It has lost respect for the living. You see a respect for the living thing here. All right. Go east.
You ride at the desolate street corner, devastating after shock tears through reality. Ripping Bosco E. Convenience from its very foundation, the contents of the store begin to spill out the front door. You see a blue slime, 28 potions, a hot rope falls into the void, lost forever. After a moment, an AI Bosco slowly comes sliding out the door, muttering, It does work, trust me. Trusted me as he plummets out of sight. You see, Bosco is convenient here. Bosco is empty. Well, that warped at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Get respect for living things. As you reach for the respect for living things, there's a terrible tremor. A giant crack tears apart the sidewalk. Respect for living things slides jelly like into the resulting chasm. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. Uh, get the answer. You can't get me. I'm ungettable. I'm Fine. so over this internet thing. You and me both, little buddy. Get down. Depths of despair. You descend into a gloomy pit of darkness, gloomier even than the street above. Carcasses of small businesses lie here, gutted and mauled. A strange smell hangs in the air in a dark dank and melodious from the dim light of the streets above you get a quick glimpse of a giant hideous figure before you you fear for your life you realize what it is the gruesome shambling corporate presence before you can react the shambling crap gobbles up the respect for living things it continues to shuffle around apparently looking for something else to eat go libertarian Maybe Why? this isn't the best time to be picking political affiliations. I never affiliate with anyone who isn't prepared to drown me in money. All right, let's use Bosco's. You thought Bosco shop in front of the shambling coat press, which quickly sells it up. It looks quite pleased, but only for a moment, then resumes sniffing around for something else. Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh, let's go. So much for plan A. Hey, Sam. You know the deal, Max. We have to go through all the plans in order before we get to complete nuclear annihilation. Yep. Shucks. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, let's go uh, up. Go northwest. Sybils, just as you enter the cluttered shop, a living shopping cart comes crashing through the roof. The emptiness itself on the floor and the flies of indic indignity. Ever tasteless trinket Sybil ever every tasteless trinket Sybil ever considered buying now sits on the floor in heaps of unfettered tackiness. Moments later, all the folds of Sybil's cats adorning the walls simultaneously spring to life, streaming Streams of kittens come shooting out of the wall like cats out of a fire hose. As the kittens run rampant through the piles of junk, they mew sweetly and ooze nauseating cuteness. Among the junk, you see a rare foil card and a large jewel encrusted idol. There's a lake of nauseating cuteness here. Get. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave them here. I yeah. thought you always wanted a kitten. I'd prefer a dry one. Okay. You bring down a, the sword on the kittens of one of the level of scams close up on your foot and in perfect intimidation of mind number the cute list cash that you get what you do. Blast! Get them, Sam! They're evil! I don't know, Max. They seem sort of sweet to me. Oh no! They're getting to you! I can tell! We have to hurry up and get out of this place!
Wait a minute. Any respectable plus two. Keep it away! Oh, nauseating boss goes. Hey, cut. I got nauseating boss goes. Now I go. Now I know what I gotta do. down use the nauseating boscos on the corporate present you feed the nauseating bosco shout to the shambling corporate present it happily devours it then it looks like a green to the guild begins to ratchet and call finally it vomits up the respectful living things as well as a half dozen knickknack stores and coffee shops well that was a vulgar display let's do it again all right let's get the respect for living things um ew well shut up max we had to get it we need it so that the internet doesn't kill us all. All right, use the respect for living things on the internet. You hand the respect for living things to the internet, the internet gas tightly and looks you right in the eye. I'm sorry. Game over. What do you mean? Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Oh. Cool. Hey, we're back! You, among all beings, managed to restore my respect for living creatures, the irony of which does not escape even me. Oh, good. I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that virus gets to me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Well, Did we just kill the internet? Oh it's not shit! Your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you Hugh won't Bliss? have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Biv. Who's Roy G. Biv? Hugh Bliss. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who is Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Goodbye. Aw, oh, nuts! It crashed before it could transmit the most vital piece of information. It's the you internet. just killed you all the porn on the, the internet. Point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Biv. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on 2nd where they serve deep-fried chocolate pork belly donuts. Do you think we can get a discount oh, dear since God, I'm the president of the, the United porn. States? I mean, the Wait, internet. Are you still president? See, I told you, Hugh Bliss is the bad guy. Me and one, me and all a one knew it. So I'm gonna sit through these credits again. Oh, this is nice. And once I'm done here, we'll end the episode. All right, and that is the end of episode five of Seven Max Save the World. We broke the internet. Thank God this is just a game because I don't know what I would do without the internet. Oh, look, those things. Next episode is Bright Side of the Moon, and it hinted at Hugh Bliss being the bad guy. Roy G. Biv, we all know it's Hugh Bliss. His face is in the moon. He's been here since the beginning, and his books have been everywhere. So, I will pick this up in the next episode. Remember, if you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Any questions you have about me or the other numbers, I'll answer. Anything you want to talk about, about anything you want to say about the game just put it in there if you want an answer i'll answer the comments whenever i can remember if you made it this far in the video prime thanks you and yeah we'll see you next time bye